They're in your computer, your car, even your phone. Semiconductors are essential to the technology we count on every day. Right now, most of those crucial chips are made overseas, but there's work underway to change that. Congress passed the Chips and Science Act to help boost production in the United States. And as Ryan Chandler shows us, it's bringing billions of dollars to expand a semiconductor facility in Central Texas. Tucked away in Taylor, Texas, the technology of the future. Two flags celebrating a deeper partnership allies in the fight for world dominance. Our nations can and must build together. This investment will quite literally transform Central Texas. The Biden administration unveiling a $6.4 billion grant for Samsung, bolstering the tech giants $40 billion. The facility, 11 million square feet and 2.6 billion pounds of concrete, all working toward one critical product. The technology that comes out of this massive plant right outside of Austin will make the entire world run. From the phones we use every day to the cars we drive and the fighter jets we fly overseas, Democrats and Republicans stress it's important we keep this technology made in America. These are the chips that we need right now if we're gonna be able to compete. House Foreign Affairs Chairman Michael McCall sees a more dangerous world, one that threatens our access to chips. During COVID, our supply lines faltered because chip manufacturing is concentrated in Taiwan. McCall says we need to make our own in case China ever invades Taiwan. What we're doing today will make a difference in the great world competition that we have, particularly with China. The nation and the world once again looking to Texas as a partner to power the world. In Central Texas, we will once again lead the whole world behind that vision. Ryan Chandler, State of Texas. Pandemic interruptions to the global supply chain helped spark interest in making semiconductors in the United States. Since the spring of 2020, private companies have invested more than $350 billion in U.S. semiconductor production. A few of those companies have received CHIPS Act funds. Several more hope to benefit. The Semiconductor Industry Association identified nine projects underway in Texas tied to manufacturing or suppliers. Five are in the Austin area. The largest is the Samsung plant in Taylor. Three projects are in the North Texas area, including two plants being built in Sherman. And in Lubbock, XFAB Texas announced plans last summer for a $200 million expansion. XFAB makes silicone wafers. The company hopes to get CHIPS Act funding to help with the expansion. All told, those tech investments are expected to bring Texas more than 12,000 jobs. Congressman Michael McCall played a key role in getting the CHIPS Act passed, and he told us it's about more than money. Clearly, it's a big economic um, benefit, but why is it important that we keep this technology made here in America and in Texas? Well, we've offshored it for over 20 years. 90% of the advanced semiconductor manufacturing is in Taiwan. Taiwan is very vulnerable to China and a potential invasion from China. Uh, if that ever occurred, uh, they would either own or, or break this national security asset. Chips are in many things, like your vehicles, but also in our most advanced weapon systems. Um, at this facility, they will build a two nanometer chip. That's a highly advanced chip that we go into our most advanced weapon systems. It is also the advanced type of chip that we need for AI. So as we talk about AI and quantum computing uh, and hypersonic weapons, these are the chips that we need right now if we're gonna be able to compete in what's becoming a more dangerous world. What role did you have in bringing this to Texas? Why is this a good home for this plant? Well, you know, I, I introduced, I authored, introduced the bill. Uh, prior administrations and national security team came to me. I introduced it. I got John Cornyn to introduce it in the Senate. It took about three years. We got it done. I think my relationship with Secretary Raimondo is very powerful. I mean, it, she and I, and I know we're different uh, parties, we work very closely together to get this over the finish line. And she knows that this area, compared to the rest of the world, you have two universities, that's UT and A&M, that produce more engineers than any other. Uh, MIT does, but it, UT and A&M together. Uh, the ecosystem of the um, of technology here, uh, the fact that Samsung is the largest foreign investment in the United States. And what's so great about this is a $6 billion grant. And in return, we're getting a $45 billion grant from Samsung 
to build two more fab plants to make the chips, but also R&D and design packaging. I can't tell you what a big step forward this is in terms of independence and the fact it's made in America, it's great for uh, the economy and business. We saw a refreshing level of bipartisanship today. It's not often in this Congress you see Republicans and Democrats praising the work that they've done with each other. Why was that important? Could, could this project have been accomplished uh, without that, that level of bipartisanship? No, I don't, I don't think so. It took a lot of tenacity. Um, I had a, a convinced committees about the tax credit, um, the grant program. You know, uh, Romano is a great team player. But no, it couldn't have been accomplished. And I think when you, when, every now and then, you get these moments in Congress where something is so important to our national security, it transcends partisan politics. Uh, and we came together, not, not all of us. There was some fierce opposition to this bill. But I, uh, at the end of the day, we got it done. I compare it to uh, like the Manhattan Project, you know, in, in after World War II. Uh, what we're doing today will, make a difference in the great world competition that we have, particularly with China, uh, by what's going to be done at this facility. Some of it at a very sensitive level, high level, uh, particularly with respect to our military. Congressman McCall was the only Republican on stage at Monday's event. Senator John Cornyn recorded a video message that played for the audience. Governor Greg Abbott did not attend the event, but he did meet with Samsung executives Monday at the governor's mansion. In a news release, the governor touted the Texas Chips Act. State lawmakers approved the act last session to encourage chip manufacturers to expand in Texas. It created the Texas Semiconductor Innovation Fund, which set aside nearly $700 million for grants to private businesses. The Texas CHIPS Act also includes more than $660 million to boost research and development centers at the University of Texas at Austin and Texas A&M University. Last month, the governor named the first members of the Texas Semiconductor Innovation Consortium. They'll develop a strategic plan to help the state be a leader in chip research, design, and manufacturing. A report spotlights the psychological threat of social media for young people. Children's attention span is a commodity for these platforms. We look at how lawmakers are responding to the concerns and how some Texas parents are taking their own steps to protect their kids. 